YouTube Above Average Cody are coming back at you with everybody's favorite series viewer, VOD Review, where we're going to go through some viewer gameplay and help them improve in the Halo Infinite Ranked Arena. Today we have some gameplay from the Disc Golf and Homie Noah. We've got some Diamond 1 to 3 Argyle CTF gameplay, which is really, really exciting because that's right around the rank that you guys have seen me be stuck at for probably forever at this point. So it's going to be fun to see what tips we're able to give Noah and see how we're able to help him improve his gameplay. So without further ado, guys, let's go to the beginning here and let's dive on in to this VOD review. Now, the first thing I want to say at the top is Argyle is a fun one to review for me at least because once you understand what you need to get done on the map, it becomes... Honestly, pretty straightforward. Now, what we want here is, obviously, we want the snipe, but we want to focus map control. We want to control the middle of the map. It is not a quick flag run going from their side to your side. So you need to control the map, get a couple racks of kills, and that's how you're going to bring that flag home. So the biggest thing here is map mid-map, more specifically mid-map control. So let's see what you like to do here off the start. Right off the rip here, it looks like you like to go a similar route to me, which is chase that sniper rifle. Unfortunately, the random here grabs it. So you still jump up top here, and you're kind of moving, and your teammates are already engaged here at mid-steps on the right side of the map. It looks like you want to stop and kind of look over here, and you're kind of scope watching right now, just kind of waiting for somebody to push out, which... Often they do. If they're going to get one or even two kills, generally you're going to see them move up to your pistol steps. And then you kind of chuck a grenade pretty quickly there, and you make the decision to run backwards towards the base. Um, so there's quite a bit to unpack here in just this one little sequence, and I want to bring it all the way back to when your random actually gets the sniper rifle first here, right? So he grabs that sniper rifle. You kind of look forwards. You see nobody, right? I'm going to be completely honest with you, at least when I play Argyle, unless I think there's somebody maybe in screens area, if I see a free path to mid-steps, especially up to their pistol area, I'm taking it. And frankly, that's probably what happened on the opposite side of the map where your other two teammates left. So just be mindful of that, especially on Argyle. The biggest thing on just about every map, but especially on Argyle, is map control. So if they're going to give you a free path to creep up and eat up some of the map, um, I definitely recommend doing so, especially if you have the sniper, which your teammate actually does here. But instead, you choose to go up and check screens, which I am perfectly fine with this here. This is great, and you see nobody. So again, you're eating up an area of the map. Now, where I kind of don't like this is obviously your teammates are dying here. But, like, just sitting here very much out in the open and just staring in your scope isn't really going to do much. Sure, you're going to get a couple shots in when this guy finally shows himself here. But your teammate is also sniping from screens right behind you. So not only are you and your remaining teammate both in the same area just chilling in screens, but you guys are very much just scope watching one single area. And the biggest thing, too, is chances are all four of them, all four of the enemies didn't go this way. So you have to be very mindful of people coming up to screens and eating up both sides of the map because you guys are basically just going to give free mid-map control. And that's what you're actually doing once you choose to run back to the base. And this is probably the hardest decision you're faced with on Argyle is the, do I move up and eat up their side of the map or do I move back and kind of play that defensive? Um, I don't think either is necessarily a wrong answer, but regardless, you always kind of want to eat up the map and keep the angles that are going to give you eyes on the enemy. Because when you run back this way, you're not really looking at anything. You throw your other grenade and you're very much just you're very much just hanging out. You're not really doing anything at all. Still no engagement and you're doing an awful lot of jumping and the first engagement you get is actually getting hit with a sniper bullet on the other side of the map. So just a quick tip here, don't be doing so much jumping, especially here. I'm willing to bet you the only reason this fella hit this shot on you is because you were jumping. When you're jumping, you're just an instant sitting duck for any snipers. Um so again, when I when I criticize you kind of moving back and giving up this mid map control, you're just not seeing anything. You're not you're not seeing anything and then you choose to stop here. So instead of taking that route back up sniper here, maybe take the jump up and go up to screens. 
Because from screens, you're stopping the enemies potentially coming up the left side of mid, you're the left mid steps there. And you can also watch across because your two teammates spawned in base. So you know the base is safe right now, right? So they did not get through the steps area. So in, in screens, you can not only stop a potential push, you can see top mid steps if you have to and you can even look across to see if they are getting through that pistol area you get a lot more information and it keeps you out of this kind of like back area of the map here and again even if you do choose to take this route Go be aggressive over here. Like, there's a lot of damage. Your teammate got a kill here. Don't be afraid to go push out and help because back here, you have two teammates fighting. One actually dies here, and you're not really doing anything to help, and that's one really big thing. So just take routes where you can just get more information or set up in a spot where you can get more information. Just don't ever be caught just kind of like, you know, you don't want to be on the back foot waiting for something to happen. You very much want to be the aggressor and being the one eating up that map. Now, the final critique here before we move on is your grenades, right? So, obviously, you have two grenades. And one, I believe, you're about to chuck right about here. And you choose to send one across right there. That's fine. It's not really a calculated grenade. You put it in the general area of the enemy, but... I try to think of my grenades like this. I'm willing to chuck one as like, a, you know, maybe I'll get some free damage, I'll send it, and then I pocket the other one. I like that you did that, but you actually end up chucking the other one pretty much just as randomly. Like, you have no idea where these enemies are, you don't really know what's going on, you actually see one die here, and then you kind of just chuck the grenade, and now you have nothing, right? You're still very much alive. Your life is very much intact, and you can make a play with however you want to go, and now you just have no grenades. That's just something I want to point out, and I've been cherishing at least one grenade in the pocket because I've been just so many times you can start or end a gunfight, and it is a massive game changer in the gunfight. All right, guys, now we're finally going to move on. Um, I do like that you choose to live up and not just poke out and get that second sniper shot, and now you're kind of weaseling here. You're getting a little bit pinched. You poke out. And see, right here actually almost would have been a great spot for the grenade if you ricocheted it off this wall and got it stuck in that glass area. If he was pushing you, it would have been a great um, a great placement for a grenade. And you actually look down. I think you might have actually done the can I throw a grenade and you forgot that you already used them both. So I love the shots you're putting in here from Vents, very much using the, the, the cheeky angles on the map here. And you're kind of just chilling in vents. You have some control here. Ooh, and you jump down into two enemies, which were actually the only two up. Again, guys, always focus your kill feed. Um, I recommend this to anybody I see with the smaller text. Um, feel free to bump that text size up to medium. It can be very, very helpful in terms of paying attention to your teammates and what's going on on the map. So right here, teammate gets a, your teammate gets a kill. So that's one enemy dead, right? And now you're fighting this fella, and you know he drops, right? You know he drops. When you turn and he's not here, he dropped. Chances are he's below you. He Maybe he went into screens, one or the other, and he also grabbed the quantum translocator. Now, you're putting some really good shots down here. You're able to help your teammate secure both of those kills, right? So that's three dead. So you have one enemy spawning, and then you have one that is alive somewhere, probably the one with the quantum translocator. I did not check the name here. Um, but I'm willing to bet that is the one that is still alive and lurking um, around the map here. So basically what I'm building up to here is when you drop down, it's kind of safe to, safe to assume you're going to run into some trouble. And I actually didn't even see that enemy's name here. So when you drop, you see the one, and then you instantly see the two, right? So one, you should have had a general idea there was an enemy lurking around here. That's fine, though. That's not going to stop me from dropping because chances are good that I could maybe win that 1v1. But right when you see these two enemies, you have to get the heck out of here. Instead, you choose to put in shots. You kind of poke back out. And then you're kind of just a free kill at that point. Your teammate was actually coming to help you, too. See, he chooses to take the route down below when he hears your gunshots. So when I see two enemies in my vision, I'm alone. I am ducking into cover as soon as possible. And if you had done that here, you would have bought enough time for your teammate to get involved here. You can see they instantly engage in the fight. If you would have been hugging this wall or maybe even wrapped around and gone the same way he did, either one, you guys could have very much leveled the playing field in that gunfight. Instead, you were very much just a free kill. Um, just have to react faster and try to get out of those situations as soon as you see them. Do not try to fight a 1v2. 
chances are it's not going to go very well. So, teammates ended up getting a couple kills there. And yet you move up and you instantly start checking your pistol door. And you, again, you use that grenade very much all willy-nilly. So in the in the in your death cam here, I do like that you were cycling through here. So your teammate comes up. And I believe he got that kill right there at the top. That's three. So he did end up killing that enemy, right? So he's chilling in screens. And then he actually goes down but your teammates get two more kills. So the only enemy up here is Martini, the one that killed three, and he was likely all the way back in screen. So any intelligent Halo player likely is not going to push up because he knows he's alone. He just had three teammates die. He's probably going to be chilling, hanging back, waiting for teammates to spawn up. So running out here and taking the time to ADS pistol door and then even waste your grenade on it, I don't really like it, and you're kind of just walking out slowly towards the front of the base. I'd love to see you, especially in diamond lobbies. Like, if you get to Onyx lobbies, this is, like, the pace that people start to play at. I'm not even wasting my time scoping on this pistol door, and I'm definitely not wasting a grenade there. If you like that side of the map, or you think they might be moving up, get over there and stop them. What I mentioned at the top here with the free space on the map, don't if they're not there yet, don't let them just waltz up and eat up that space. I want you to get over there and beat them there. Instead, you waste a grenade, you're wasting time, and you're kind of looking around. You see him. Okay, he kind of ducked and hid. Now I'm going to run this way. Just be very like... If you think an enemy is going to be over there and your teammates are holding down that left side, by all means, go to the right side and take it. Um, I'm not opposed to you going to the side your teammates are on, but I'm just like kind of trying to paint the picture of how important the map control is. Eat up that area on the map, especially if there's nobody over there. You know, If you have a free path, just take it. So you choose to come up mid-steps here. Teammate gets a kill. Teammate gets another kill. So you guys have two dead. You guys have two dead. You have three teammates moved up on this side of the map, and you have one teammate on the other side. So, very good awareness there. You actually had one ratting down below, and I actually have the sound off, of course, just so it doesn't interfere with my voice, but I'm imagining that you heard somebody fighting down below you or you heard the footsteps, and that's likely how you knew to turn your head. Little bit choppy on the aim there. Uh, Noah did mention this was his first game of the day, so I'll cut him some slack here, but good job winning that gunfight. You are a little twitchy on the right stick. Um, and then you do a good job trying to live up here. You're living up, but also trying to get info. This is something people do not do enough. I understand if you're one shot, you want to hide and kind of regen those shields. Feel free to look around, you know, jiggle peeking and stuff like that. Chances are someone's not going to be ready enough. Okay. I do not like that grenade at all. That's another bad grenade there. Um, but get info while you're trying to regen. Don't just be the guy that's staring at the corner like this while, while you're trying to get shields back. So. And very much, I'm not sure why you threw that grenade. Maybe you just panicked a little bit because you one-shot, but dude, that, that's just a really bad grenade right there. Good job being aware and ready to shoot that fella. You back him down, taking very minimal damage. And I'd like to see you kind of maybe help run this flag in. I like to never let a flag carrier go alone, especially since that rack of kills you got. It's been roughly the time around respawn, except for that martini death there. Chances are they are spawning up. So you had one there, but you're still missing info on two other enemies here. And that's why I say you should probably go help the flag run back in. And then you do actually turn back to the flag and you're met with an enemy right here. But good job listening. You were definitely listening and you were aware enough to come down and be like, okay, maybe my flag carrier needs help. And then you do a good job to cut this guy off from your flag carrier. And, oh, you don't get the melee in. You don't get the melee in. So this is just something you get from a lot of 1v1 gunfights. And this is just something to be very aware of. It's your health versus the enemy he enemies here, right? So your teammate runs with the flag. You do a great job. You crack his shields right there before he drops down, right? Right here. You crack his shields. You still have some shield left. Jump out out on this fella jump out on him i don't see any other enemies jump out on him fly out and just be confident in hitting that headshot most importantly do not let him get that melee you move towards him and you put him in the position to get the big dub in that gunfight 
you had the upper hand in that gunfight the whole way through, honestly, I'm side jumping that and just putting a bullet right in his head. That's really what I'm doing here. Um, but that's really unfortunate loss. I'm sure you were hoping to get that melee trade, but even if you traded, that did not have to be a trade at all. And again, I commend you cycling through the death cams. You're able to see what's going on. You're like, okay, I see flag carrier. Okay, he punches it in, but he dies. So when you spawn up, you know there might be some heat, some action here. So you get moving right away. You look out, see nothing, and now you're going to get that snipe. All right, I'm, I'm cool with this. Teammate just died there. See, and you're doing the thing again. You're kind of, you're, you're being reactive. You're waiting for something to happen, right? And, and I already know you're going to run into it because I've seen the sequence here. So, your teammate died here. Nothing. 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 So, what, what can we assume? That enemy's pushing up screens, right? And sure enough, right here, screens start shooting you. He has help. And you go down with that fresh sniper with almost full ammo. Two, so again, two things wrong here. Again, one, free path up. Free path up. Take that space on the map. Go move that way. I don't care. If you're confident with the sniper rifle, move up. Take that space. I don't care if your teammates aren't ready to go. You have to go. And then if they are pushing through screens, which, again, you have to assume. That's the other thing. You have to assume they are taking a different angle. There's no way they are just sitting there in mid-steps waiting for somebody to come. There is no way. They're pushing up screens, right? And even if you make the mistake to stay here too long, and also to keep in mind, they saw you pick up that sniper. They have the big sniper icon. They can see when it disappears. So they know your location immediately. And if there's two of them, you know they are flying in to come get you. If you are caught in this situation, take sniper off the map. Take sniper off the map because they're going to go. They're going to pick it up right there, and they are going to use it against you. So if that does happen, Jump off the map, send a Hail Mary sniper bullet, or even just throw it off the map, something of that nature. That's if you can't get away. If you can't get away, at least take the power weapon off the map with you. And now they're getting a flag run going. You've got one teammate looking across at him. They're, he's actually taking it down below coils, and there's also another one up top. And you can't see it because of the webcam, but there's another one on to up top in screens. There's two in screens, actually, including the one with the sniper. Again, my fat head is blocking the entire action here. But again, good job getting the info from the death cam. So you spawn up. You know exactly where you want to look, and that is screens. But I want to get over there very quickly. There we go. I like it. Show some hustle getting over here. Un unfortunately, hit the melee there. Good job getting that kill. Grab that snipe and move. Just a little bit too slow. I like the play there. You did a good job getting this kill. But you got to move. Right when I get this kill, you saw there was two in screens, right? So you know there's another one lurking, and there's the one pulling the flag. I'm running, grabbing that sniper, dipping out of there, and then posting back up so that I can try to do some damage. Instead, you walk over, you're reloading, you grab it, and you get clipped going around the wall. Unfortunate death there. Only so much you could do, and it's easy for me to nitpick, but be fast. Be fast and confident in what you're doing. Grab that snipe, get out of there, and then move on to the next gunfight. Your teammates are doing a good job here, and now you grab the flag. And guys, I want to point out this sequence, and above everything that I can teach you, just be aware of what's going on and listen in your headset, right? Noah here drops the flag... And if you saw in that sequence right there, your teammate actually fell off the map throwing the flag to you. I, I don't know what happened there, but that was really interesting. Right here, not only do you hear it, but you also see the flag get returned. So guys, always have your Spartan chatter on. Have your AI thing talking to you. And I'll be honest, I ran subtitles for quite a while. Just be aware and take in everything going on. And the reason I am painting that picture, because this is very frustrating to watch as a Halo-ranked player. He comes up. He chows two enemies. Another bad grenade, by the way. Your teammate was right there. Touches the flag. Still no flag cap. Your teammates must have been absolutely losing their mind. And to cap it off, he goes to finally cap it and gets ninja'd. And by the way, it's all love to Noah. I did run this sequence by him before to kind of make this a little bit of a funny part of the video. You know, anybody that says they've never been in a situation like this, 
watching this video trying to get better and ranked is lying, all right? We make dumb mistakes like this, but this is why, above all else, guys, you have to be aware of what is going on. The kill feed, the score, the time left in the game, where is my flag? Where are my teammates? There's a lot going on, but you have to, if you want to improve in the game, you have to learn to take in all of this information at one time, all right? And just don't be, don't get caught in that situation. However, I will say Noah comes back pretty big here. So first off, obviously the flag, I don't believe that flag goes in, but Noah gets off, off, the, off the rip right here. Good kill right there. Working their way down below. Finds another enemy, probably heard him shooting, gets a perfect right there, and I believe that flag does end up getting returned. Now this, what you're doing right here is what I want you, wanted you to do all the beginning of the match here, right? You got two kills. What does two kills mean? You guys have the advantage on the map. Take that mid-map control. Fly out there. I like that you're sliding. You're jumping just to go further out of your slide, and you're gifted with another kill. Now you're flying. You take the vantage point. Another random grenade. So so be very careful with your grenades, right? So, like, I love that you take this vantage point. It's human turret time. Once you get to this area, it's human turret time, but also play your life. Throwing that grenade is useless, right? He's just going to run away from it. Just, just shoot your gun, I promise you. Those nades will be much better if you get into close quarters gunfights. That grenade's a little better because you know he could have been moving that way. Um, but just just be mindful when you're throwing the grenades and then also where you're throwing them. Use them to start a gunfight or end a gunfight. I love how confidently you're flying out here. It's just unfortunate you took, I believe, yeah, you took a little bit too much damage here and then you were just an easy cleanup. And now you guys are three dead here, right? So that was a good sequence. Um, it would have been nice. And you guys did actually end up capping that flag. That's my B. So it is two to zero. And you guys end up going three dead here. Pretty unfortunate. So it was a good sequence, but now we got to regain. And now that we lost that mid-map control, and now you guys are four dead, actually. You guys got to work your way up and try to fight for that mid-map control. So again, scope watching here. If you don't see anybody, either take that angle or move to a different one, right? You got to get up here sooner. I like that you're checking the screens. And I see we're actually waiting for snipes. So I, I guess I'm okay with that. It's But everybody's pinned in the base here. So I'm fine with you waiting for snipe. But, like, again, with the map control, like, like idea here, you really don't want to be pinned in the back base. And while you're waiting for the snipe, nobody gets out past screens here. Everybody is literally just huddled up here. Um, so generally, sometimes I'll just leave the snipe and be like, dude, one of them's going to grab it. I got to go eat up some of the space on the map. Um, and be careful not to run to 1v2, of course. But... And again, you throw both those grenades kind of in the same spot because you throw one in a bad spot and you kind of just chuck the other one. Just be mindful of those grenades for sure. See, and now you're very much hanging back. Like, I, I, I really hate this. I really, really hate this. So, again, mid-map control. I don't want to see... I don't want to see two teammates huddled up in the back here while Big H is literally pulling the flag out mid. You guys get to get up there and help the man. You know, at least try to get that flag out. I'm not saying throw your body out there, but try to get up and help. And this is so, so frustrating in in many lobbies when you're moving up, you get a couple kills, you know, and you look back and all your teammates are in the base and it's like, homie, you got sometimes you got to put the pedal to the metal and get up and help those teammates, right? See, so now you're making the play to move out. You see two enemies. You do a good job backing off here a little bit. Three leg actually just goes down here. So you got to be very careful because you are very much alone here in screens now. You drop back. A one shot just runs right out towards you. Very lucky place to be. And you kind of just get all turned around there. Um, they all moved up, and that was kind of a tough situation. So, again, when you saw all these enemies and three leg here die, like, I like your decision to drop. But moving back towards the action probably wasn't the play here, especially since you're the one holding snipe. Because, again, they're just going to push you. Like, they know you're alone. They know you're weak. They're just going to fly out on you there. So, again, you guys are getting pinned in the base pretty hard here. And you see him fighting somebody on the left there, so you do a good job. And I love you're doing a great job with the death cams. That's definitely not a bad part of your gameplay because right off spawn, you know exactly where to look and where to go. If you guys aren't already doing that, Start doing it. It makes the game so much easier when you know where to go off spawn. You're not spawning like, huh, huh, you know, what's going on, everybody? You know, so you definitely use those death camps to your advantage. 
And right here, you see no one. You see nobody, right? So you have to be suspicious of what's going on on the map. But you do a good job to hear the gunfight and move towards it. I've preached this for many of Otter Views. If you hear your teammate fighting, go to that teammate. Go help them out. And they're actually three dead because Martini actually offed himself here. So you got to move up and grab that flag. There's only one alive. There's only one alive. Oh, oh you guys are fixated on the only one alive here. Kill feed, kill feed, kill feed, kill feed. Make that text bigger, Noah. Anybody else, make that text bigger. One, two, three enemies dead. The moment I see three enemies dead, I am flying for that flag, especially if I'm right here. If I'm, in my, if I'm in my base, I'm fighting for that mid-map control and fighting the spawners, but I am flying. I'm at least going to move maybe to the back of the base, worst case, if I don't get there fast enough, so that I can spawn them on Sniper Plat, and I know where they're going to be, and I can ping that up for my teammates. But right here, you're wasting time. Okay, six, seven, eight. Okay, spawners are coming in now. That three dead was completely wasted. You guys did absolutely nothing with it. So again, awareness. Take it in be and be confident with what you're going to do. So you find a snipe here. So the biggest thing, oh, Awkward place to pause it. This is not lost yet, right? Even though you lost that opportunity, that's fine. You're still alive. You're full health. You have a sniper now. Let's get a rack of kills and try to get that flag moving here. Disgusting. I love those sniper kills. I love the point blank to melee. Good job with that. You move out. And see, just like one other thing, like, like right here, after you get this kill... Sprint and slide this corner. Even though you're one shot, they're not going to be ready for you, especially with a sniper. And I'm saying that because your teammate, again, my fat head is in the way, guys. I'm sorry. But your teammate is literally, let me see if it comes on screen. Your teammate's literally right here, ready to fight. They're going to be focused on this teammate. So even though you're one shot, slide and chow that corner. Play fast. These are the big plays that are going to really yield you those, like, those just big plays that are going to help the team, honestly. Oh, did you put that bullet in your teammate's shoulder? I'm curious here. I believe that went into the team. I think that hit your teammate? That's kind of deceiving even. If so, unfortunate. I mean, I'd be jumping this honestly so I can look down. There you go. Get some yumps in there. Okay, you see two enemies? I'm backing off. See, you reach out and the third one just came in. This was kind of just overstaying your welcome there. But really unfortunate shakeout, and it hurts so much to see you guys had three down. I guarantee you, you pull that flag when they were three dead, there's a good chance that this game is already over. So you guys are very much leaving the door open here with five minutes left in the game. So let's see how you play out here, and I'll, I swear I'll try to move through this a little bit faster, guys. It's just, there's always so much to go over, dude. I love doing these viewer VOD reviews, so please, guys, keep sending them in. I'll tell you guys at the end of the video how to send one in if you have not already. All right, I like this. You're kind of slowly moving up here. You catch one off right here looking for your teammates. Finish that reload. And again, you're kind of, you kind of want to get out, get some info here. You get a nice little kill there. Homie moving up mid-steps. And see, now this I don't, I don't mind, right? Because you're staying somewhere, you're getting information, and you're very much down teammates right now. You want to just kind of chill and protect while your teammates try to spawn up. So this is all good and fine. And they're actually not even looking for you, which is actually kind of crazy. That grenade I like. Big H has to try to get out of the base there. And it looks like you have Sniper coming up pretty soon. See, this would be a perfect time for a grenade. It's situations like this that you need a grenade, so it's like, that's why I try not to waste them unless it's like a... Try to use high percentage nade spots, I guess is what I'm saying, or situations. Sniper's up, and you choose to run backwards to try to get the snipe, and the teammate grabs it. And see, right here, I know we all want the snipe in our hands, right? When you see snipe coming up, that's fine. I would, I'm chilling waiting for my teammate to get it. But you know an enemy is over there, and you choose to back up and you just leave, you give screens open. You basically just give up that map control. You don't ever want to give up space on the map for free, right? Just let your teammate take that snipe. You go down below, you grab the plasmas. I like that you're eating up the equipment. And now you're just kind of jumping through mid here. Now you're chilling. See, you kind of, you kind of put yourself in a situation here too where you have no idea where anyone is. Now, sure, you could be calming and talking to people, but it's like, again, you come back for the snipe, you don't get it. 
that's fine. Go right back to mid-steps. You know, there's nobody here. See if they let you take mid-steps. Instead, you kind of take a route where you're not really getting any information, but you're moving up. So you're moving up with no information, and now you're kind of stuck in the looking around, you know, where is everybody, what's going on, I don't know where the enemies are. If you went mid-steps, you had a vantage point over anything. You know, if they move up from pistol, you can take that fight, and you have help from the guy that took sniper, hopefully. If they're on the opposite side mid-steps... You could shoot across, maybe put some grenades over there. Okay, that's cool. You can even get back to your base from that way. There's a lot of different ways to go. However, when you go this way, there's not really many places to go. You get caught out in the open, bingo, bango, there's all those enemies you were looking for, and that's really how it always goes. So you very much want to keep yourself in a position where you always kind of know what's going on. I remember Brent, when he was doing a lot of improving, I'm like, dude, how are you getting so good? And he's like, just always think about where the enemies are coming from. The sooner you can know where the enemy roughly is or which way they're going to be coming from, the easier you could take a gunfight. Like this right here, I mean, you had a lot of good shots. Unfortunate that that fella had help. But it is what it is. You were ready. Your reticle was up. It was at a good height. And I like that. Good centering. You knew where the enemy was coming from. Completely different situation. And again, right here, when I take that sniper shot, you can actually see, well, when you take that sniper shot, you can actually see both of them. You got to back out, slide into this corner, do something. And again, it's situations like that where I wish I had a grenade, but you actually did not have a grenade there. So I think about using your grenade more in situations like that as opposed to just like you know, hail marrying them right across the map. All right, speed run here. I'm not pausing it anymore so we can close out and get to the end of this game. So you're moving right up towards your teammates. You heard the shooting, I assume, so you're ready to take that fight. And see, throwing your grenade there actually puts you behind a couple bullets in that gunfight. I mean, you get sniped anyways, but just like, if you're going to throw a grenade, you got to be very quick about it. Don't do it while the enemy's already shooting at you. So you spawn up. I like that grenade because somebody could very well be pushing in. This flag is going out. They give you the free ticket out of the base. Take it. I'd like to see you keep moving. Good job using that window. I like that. You peek with the window and then you shoot. Putting in some shots across there. You got to be mindful of them moving up through mid-steps, though. Choose to take this corner here. And I think you're definitely in defense mode, which is a fine mode to be in. Good job getting out of that gunfight, but don't don't back out so far here, right? So I like, and I said I wasn't going to pause anymore. This is a good gunfight here, right? You have a teammate right here. I'm trying to bait him through that doorway because he is so fixated on you. He doesn't know Neo's here, right? Back out and just hold this angle. And the reason I say hold this angle is because you can still help in this gunfight. Again, I know you're one shot. I know it's scary and you're going to die. But push out and help your teammate here, right? There's a chance you both survive. So double chow that. Instead, you drop all the way back, you let him die, and then you come in and clean it up. And I'm like, ooh, you should have been baiting that enemy in and you both could have lived. Instead, you kind of used your teammate in the corner as bait. It's like, here you go. If you don't get the kill, I'll get it. Um, so a very awkward situation. Regardless, we got sniped now. Flag. Oh, my God. I need to see that again disgusting that is absolutely forget everything i said you're a pro i love it <laughs> dude i love that disgusting snipe that is fantastic disgusting snipes you ain't even worried about the flag see i like this i like this you don't have to rush out and return that flag you have the sniper you have the mid map control and the sooner you're on the aggression the less that they can move out and take that mid map control and go get that flag fantastic i love what i'm seeing empty snipe grab that disruptor you put in some good disruptor shots you're playing your life where was this the entire 75 percent first part of the game you push out a little bit you drop you're putting in damage oh and you got to get that kill a little faster there so this this is a great lesson here and once i started doing this is it changed my 1v1s like immensely do not just do your your dedicated strafe, right? This is the only thing that's implanted in your brain. Strafe towards the enemy to bring the reticle over them. Because, see, you're not doing any left stick aiming, really. You're kind of just strafing and praying that your reticle ends up over them. I'm trying to match my strafe with theirs so that my reticle is glued to the enemy, right? So... 
So just get this thought in your head, everybody watching. Strafe to keep your reticle over the enemy. Don't strafe to make them miss. Strafe to keep the reticle over the enemy. Just have that general thought process, and trust me, your aim's going to get a lot better here. Because, again, right here, you're kind of just strafing and praying that it lines up. Sometimes it's easier said than done, but try to use your strafe to to help your aim as opposed... Don't look at it as a, as a method of making them miss. So, spawn up here. Flag's moving across the map. You got to get there. You got to get there. You got to get your eyes on something. All right, I like it. You're moving. You're sliding. I like it. I like it. Beautiful kill. Just keep eyes on the thing. Oh, baby, we got a snipe coming in over the top. You got to live here. You got to live here. You got to live here. Oh, you gave him the win. You gave him the win there. I do like that you were trying to chal it, but at some point, like, in crunch time like this, when that flag is right at the stand, you have to live up. But you got these dudes just playing lights out, man. Your teammates are going huge here. They're going absolutely huge. I bet they don't even get this cap in. You get up. They are just killing everybody. Just pin them. Just pin them. Yep, get this kill. Just pin them. Take one for the road. Oh, see, don't throw that grenade. Do I'm not throwing this grenade here. Right? You get him so weak. I'm going to keep my reticle up and wait and see if he chows. Now, if he does not chow out, I'll wait a second and then I'll throw the grenade. Because I know I know he's not going to like wait two seconds to chow out. He's either going to chow... 90% of the time, he's either going to chow or he's going to regen, right? He goes with chow, but you go with the grenade toss, and you are caught so off guard. Even if you're going to throw that grenade, throw it the moment he goes into cover, like he did. He even took the time to throw a grenade. The moment he goes into cover, chuck the grenade, get that reticle back up. Don't try to do both at the same time, though, which you kind of did. Oh, man, right here. He's waiting for you. He's waiting for you. This is the perfect... Look, you save the grenade... You have a one-shot in front of you, and you don't use it. Bounce it off this. Throw it right here. Throw it anywhere. Make this guy panic because he's going to hear the grenade. Personally, I really like this wall right here. Bounce it off. Let it scuttle towards because even if you don't get the grenade kill, he's going to jump out and chow you. Instead, you're letting him get his shields back. Oh, man. Those are the situations you really want to think about using your grenades in, but you end up getting the kill anyways, and it ain't going to matter. There's 30 seconds left. You guys are manhandling them in the base. Oh, and you go for the pull. That was just an ego pull there. I'm with it. I'm fine with that. You guys got this dub, though, easily. And I think we went over just about everything that um, I was going to. Because you guys are just destroying them now. They're just panicking. Anyways, let's get to the recap here. Biggest things for you to work on, Noah, are one, eat up that map control. If they give it to you for free, if there's three dead, you have to get on the horse and get moving. Eat up the map. Two, Grenades, grenades, grenades. Think about how many grenades you have. Think about where you're using them. Even if you do kind of what I do, I'll use one as like a bold Hail Mary, and I'll use my other one to either start or finish a gunfight. And think about the timing of the grenades, the placement of the grenades. Grenades, trust me. I used to think it was a silly thing. I had people commenting like, Cody, why don't you throw your grenades, Cody? And it's like, the moment I started using my grenades, my God, the game on honestly got easier. It is very much free damage a lot of times, especially if you know where the enemy's coming from, which next point. Try to think about where they're coming from at all times. You know, don't put yourself in that situation where you're like, huh, huh, huh? Take routes, eat up information, and then just take in everything. Pay attention to the kill feed. Pay attention to when that flag is returned and you can cap it and everything of the sort. I'll be honest with you. I'm pretty happy with your aim overall. I'm pretty happy with your reticle placement and everything. I think that's all okay. You specifically said it was um, your first game on too. Um, so I'm sure your aim is fine. Just think about everything, those three things that I kind of went over. And I think things are going to get a lot easier for you, especially in these diamond lobbies. But alrighty. Holy long video, longest VOD review. I'm chalking it there. I think I gave you everything you need. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Subscribe, like, comment. Um, super thanks and memberships if you'd like to support that way. I'm out of here, guys. I'm going to bed. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay tuned for the next video.